Welcome to the Boat Buyer's Secret Weapon Series. I'm your host, Captain Matt, and today we're talking about some new updates and regulations you need to know as you're boating for the 2021 season. So let's take a look at the first one. Uh, this is a new change, the U.S. Coast Guard regulation. It goes into effect April 1st on any boats that are less than 26 feet. Um, it is re a requirement now to wear your safety cutoff switch. So that little red lane lanyard that when I'm on the boat just dangles there. Um, I, I have never worn it. I, I think it's a pain. I think it's a, it, it can get in the way. Uh, but the new requirement when you're on federal waterways and you're on plane, or you're at displacement speed, if you're in a displacement hold boat that's less than 26 feet, uh, you have to wear your safety cutoff switch. Now, I understand why they're doing it. Uh, they've, they've had some fatalities. They've had some accidents where uh, somebody, somebody falls off the boat, um, somebody gets hurt, and they're away from the helm where if they were wearing their safety cutoff switch, it would have killed the engine and the boat would have, would have stopped very shortly after um, versus some incidents that have, have happened in the past couple of years where people have, have fallen off their boat, uh, been disabled. And the boat continues to run uh, and, and either causes property damage or human damage. So this is on federal waterways only. Um, and there's also some states that have this law passed. So Alabama, Arkansas, Illinois, Louisiana, Nevada, New Jersey, and Texas. So here's my recommendation to you. Do not wear it on your wrist like this. Uh, when you're handling the boat, it, it can get in the way. It's just, in my opinion, it's the, it's the wrong way to wear it. Clip it on your, clip it on your shorts, um, clip it somewhere down below um, so that it still falls off if you have an issue, but it's not getting in the way of you operating the boat. Um, jet skiers have, have wore this forever. They wear it on their, their wrist, uh, or their leg. Um, but when you have a steering wheel in the equation, I, I think it's better to, to clip it onto your life vest or clip it onto your, your swim trunks, uh, clip it somewhere other than your wrist, uh, in, in my opinion. So be aware of this. I, I don't know how, how quickly they're going to be writing tickets for this, but the regulation does go into effect uh, April 1st of 2021. It's only for boats less than 26 feet. So if you're if you're 25 11 um, on the the length of the boat, uh, you've got to have it done. If you're 26 feet or over, you're you're okay. Couple other things that have come out: wake surfing legislation. There are several states that have passed some wake surfing laws restricting. Um, the usage of ballast and the, the huge wakes that some of these surf boats are putting out. So here are the ones that are, are, were in the legislation um, in Indiana, Oregon, and Virginia. Uh, hey, here, here's my recommendation. If you're a surfer and you want to continue to surf, talk to all your surfing buddies and let them know to be very conscious of their wakes, waking other boaters, uh, waking docks, uh, waking shoreline that um, you know is eroding and having to have riprap and the seawalls are being destroyed because of the huge wakes put out by these surf boats. Now I understand the big cruisers, uh, a, a 18 foot boat that's that's riding you know at at five miles an hour is putting out a huge wake too, uh, but the surfers are getting the blame and that's where most of the um, legislation is going. Uh, there are several lakes around the country that have already enacted such laws or, or rules on their, their private lakes. So just be aware of it. Be conscious of your wake so that, um, that those privileges do not get taken away for everybody. If you see somebody that's, that's causing a problem, let them know, Hey, you may not be aware, uh, but they're, they're tightening down on this and it's, it's something that, um, you know, I see in the next couple of years being a huge point that um, if it continues on, especially on the private lakes, that um, they're going to start banning some things. Uh, the industry is fighting a bunch to, to keep that from happening, but just be aware. Um, we do have the U.S. Boat Expo kicking off before we get to the next um, the next law, but the U.S. Boat Expo, go to usboatexpo.com. We've put together over 20 
industry experts and boating experts to help first-time buyers uh, find the right boat, avoid the overwhelm, avoid the frustration, the confusion that comes with buying your first boat. Uh, check that out if you're interested. So the mandatory boater education laws, there's only a handful of states now that don't have a mandatory requirement. Uh, you can see those in yellow there. Almost everybody else has a mandatory boater education law. Now, each state has their own requirement. I'm going to do a whole separate video on each state so that everybody can have access to, to what theirs is. Just know uh, most of them have been by date of birth and they're, they're kind of putting it in place so that eventually everybody is going to have a boater safety course uh, or a, a card and be registered at some level. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do it. You can do it in person. You can do it online. Uh, but just know if you're if you're under the age of 30 or 40, make sure you check your state requirements or go to the channel and, and I'll do a specific video on state age requirements for that boater education course or that card. YouTube's recommended some videos. If you're interested in buying a boater, the boating lifestyle, subscribe to the channel. And um, like I said, if you're looking to buy a boat, go check out that U.S. Boat Expo. I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll get a lot of value there. And leave me a comment. Let me know if there's any laws in your area that um, that would be valuable to include. Anything that's crazy, uh, in anything that you think should be enacted, I would love to hear your point of view. Thanks a lot. Remember, life truly is better on a boat.